so many Drupal 8 tutorials, the first thing you need to do is set up a development environment to be able to test out a specific patch or a specific feature or a specific module or whatever it is you happen to be looking at. This isn't always possible for everyone. Maybe you don't have administrative access over your laptop because it's a work computer and you just want to try Drupal out. I really like recommending simplytest.me to folks who want to get Drupal up and running just to play around with it for a little bit, but don't need a permanent instance of it. This site is, perhaps obviously, available from simplytest.me. You can install Drupal by entering into the field here, Drupal, and then selecting Drupal Core from the pop-up menu. It will give you all of the versions of Drupal that it currently has available to you. You'll want to pick the most recent version of Drupal 8, in this case, Alpha 7. The next thing you do is launch the sandbox, and that's pretty much it. If there's a specific thing that you want to test within Drupal, though, you may need to open the Advanced Options field set. Go ahead and click on Advanced Options, and you can see here that you can add additional projects, perhaps a module or a theme, or you can apply a specific patch. Now, a patch is something that would have been created in the issue queue, and uh, you would need to download and, and configure that. We can cover that in a separate video if you'd like. Just let me know in the comments for this blog post. So we're going to just do plain old Drupal 8 and click on Launch Sandbox. You may need to wait a while in this queue. I'll fast forward the video if it takes forever. Once it's finished, you'll get redirected to the installation screens for Drupal. We're just going to use all of the basics here, so I'll click continue or save or whatever the default is for whatever I happen to be doing. Save and continue. Save and continue. I don't think I need to remember any of this. It's the database name and username, so I'm going to click save and continue. Drupal will then install. And you'll be redirected to the configuration screen. You can see down here in the left hand corner, I have a counter going. This is the amount of time remaining for me to test out Drupal in this particular instance. Once again, all of the defaults should be fine. Everything will be blown away at the end of this. So I'll scroll to the bottom and click save and continue. There we go. The installation is now complete and I can go ahead and click on visit your new site. The administrative username and password are already set up here and it should just be a matter of clicking log in. And there we have Drupal 8 installed. At this point, I've got about 28 minutes remaining to play around with Drupal 8, look at whatever it is that I want to look at. Maybe I've got some extra modules or maybe I've got a patch applied or whatever it happens to be. But it was very little work to just go ahead to simply test.me, set up an instance of Drupal 8 and poke around. So now you've got absolutely no excuses. Go take a look at Drupal 8 and see what's changed and see what you really love about it. Thank <laughs> you.